you're watching the business portal, your gateway to business trends and opportunities. I'm your business evangelist, Lloyd Luna, and this is Creative Business. Today, the headlines that made another exciting business week, a wrap-up of big news and interesting events that shaped the last seven days of Philippine business. Our guest for today is the chief pusher, publisher, curator of P-3.ph, Mark Bantige, will be here in the studio. Our second guest will be Judith and Rubiard Cinco, ladies and gentlemen. They have this interesting business about watches. What do you wear in your wrist? My top eight ways to generate more sales leads. And finally, 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 the creative business alphabet of achievement. Ta-da! We are now letter Z. Zoom in your priority. Let's begin the hour with the business news that shaped our week. Government to sell at least 5 billion peso in retail treasury bonds in October. The Bureau of the Treasury is planning to issue in October at least 50 billion pesos in 10-year and 15-year treasury bonds for small investors. I don't know if you would be interested, but Deputy National Treasurer Eduardo Mendiola said, the Bureau of the Treasury has received proposals from the two groups of arrangers and was targeting to hold the issuance in the second or third week of the month. The total minimum combined offer for both tenors of retail industry bonds would be between 50 billion pesos and 60 billion pesos. Now, retail treasury bonds allow a minimum investment of 5,000 pesos. So if you have one, which means that individual small investors opposed to banks, insurance firms, and other usual subscribers of government securities can buy retail bonds. In another news, Aboitis and Marubeni Inc., 700 billion million US dollars deal. Aboitis Power Corporation and Marubeni Corporation of Japan are investing as long or as much as 700 billion million US dollars or more than 30 billion pesos to jointly develop and build and operate a 400 megawatt coal fired power plant in Quezon province. Now, in the disclosure, the Philippine Stock Exchange, APC, said it signed a memorandum of understanding with Marubeni for the proposed power plant, which will be constructed within the premises of the existing 700 megawatt Pagbilao coal facility in Quezon. The construction of the coal plant, which is seen to add the much needed capacity for the Luzon grid, is expected to be completed by 2015. So goodness, actually. The agreement was signed by APC President and CEO Eramon Ayaboitis and Maruben Executive Managing Director Shigeru Yamazoi during President Aquino's visit to Japan. The terms and conditions of the joint investment will, however, be finalized in a definitive agreement to be agreed upon by the parties. Now, Philippine Stocks Exchange slightly higher amid bargain hunting. The local stock market struggled to remain in positive territory on Thursday, but bargain hunting firms up the main index despite the temptation to join the profit-taking scene in offshore markets. The main share Philippine Stock Exchange Index added 1.51 points or 0.04% to finish at 3,877.63 as investors focused their trades on selective blue chips. Local stocks thus overcame a rough start but encountered some resistance near the 3,800 mark. Not my guest today, but mark. Trading was mixed across countries with the mining, oil property, and financial sub indices leading the index higher while the decline in the industrial holding firms and services. Services counters tempered the day's gains. Turnover amounted to 5.8 billion pesos. Those were the news that shaped our weeks. I'm excited with this first guest. Let's go. Our first guest, ladies and gentlemen, is a social entrepreneur, the chief progress officer and pusher of P-3, Mark Bantige. Hi, Mark. Welcome to the show. Hello, Mike. Good morning. How are you, man? I'm pretty stressed out, baby, madam. It's a P3. And the family and the friend? The, the, the family? Uh, they're at home. They're... Are they watching? Uh, we don't have destiny. 
So no, no, not right now. So you don't have a cable? No, not right now. <laughs> not, not, not a cable. But um, um, your business is into citizen media. Yes. So, ang, ang, ang business po ni Mark is citizen media. That means... What that means is, uh, instead of the regular conventional um, reporters will report the news, uh, we do it in a way that uh, regular citizens like you and me um, report the news from their home. Whoever has a computer, has an internet access, uh, they go online, report the news, how it affects them. So it's not exactly the, just the news, just the facts, it's how the issues affect them as a blank, whatever they are, whatever their profession okay, is. Okay, so you say this, yung ating mga taga-panood, kung meron silang balita, they write it, no? Especially yes. kung nandun sila dun sa, sa industry na yun, or yes. on sa topic, kung meron silang kakayahan na magsulat pa sa topic na yun. Yes, exactly. Okay, that's good. Uh, but b before we go to p-3.ph, that's the website. So yes, it's, a, yes. it's an online newspaper yes, it is. Uh, for Filipino citizens. Yes. Who would like to write yes. the uh, news as it happens? As it happens. Unfiltered. Unfiltered. Not watered down. It's pure. It's straight from the horse's mouth. Kung ang kasabihan. So, so it can be cows or carabaos right from the horse's mouth. Mas madami tayong carabaos. <laughs> carabaos na. <laughs> carabaos na. Right. And then, um, uh, as I was doing uh, uh, research for, from you, I understand that you are not that. I mean, your 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 uh, your body is not as good as what you have right now. Way back oh. years ago. Okay, that's. Can you tell, can tell us more about it? Okay, that's a. Uh, it's a little embarrassing, but uh, yeah, as, as I was, as I was, I think uh, we spoke before, and then you asked me about health. Mm -hmm. So maybe when I was 11, 12, I was about like 210 pounds. <laughs> 200 <laughs> That's twice as, <laughs> yeah. twice as, as, as my, my weight right now. Yeah, body weight. But uh, with some determination and, uh, and hard work, you know, you try to get fit. Which is also the kind of discipline I'm trying to apply to uh, P3. All right. And uh, what was the motivation of uh, losing that fat and weight? <laughs> to be honest? Of course you uh, should be honest. Uh, uh, it's, 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 it's rejection. 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 By, by who? Uh, this this <laughs> high school, maybe pa yung mga ano yun eh, middle school, junior high school sweetheart. Right. Ganun so, yun. in short, na busted because of Busted, busted. Kasi malaki. It's, how yes. did it feel during it, the time? Uh, major blow sa ego. Pero siyempre, babalik ego mo. Sabihin, no, I can do this. Okay, and I'll then after a couple you. of months? Three, four months. Three, four months. You're, you're the, the perfect shape you can be. Hindi naman. Hindi uh, naman. Na, 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 mumula na ba ako? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, and then, uh, yung man basin sa'yo, flew to, flew back to Australia, somewhere else. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, ano lang, uh, Yes, yes. So, umalis siya. So, okay na. Okay na so, lang. So, okay. Good. So, that's the personal life of Mark Mantiga. <laughs> just, <laughs> okay. just for our audience to know na, if you, if you are an entrepreneur, the chances are you have the, the most embarrassing stories in your life in the past. Okay. So, this is the story. So, you are, you are an AIM educated guy, Asian Institute of Management. Master I, I should... Instructed but educated, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> okay. Here, uh, AIM instructed okay. guy, Asian yeah. Institute of Management, Master of Entrepreneurship. Yes. Right. And you also have, you also have a, a school tour, and you are in, also uh, educated in three continents. Uh, Asia. Oh, no, I, it was just uh, basically, I was just privileged that I was able to study uh, here in the Philippines. In, the U.S. and I also had a just a short a short stint in France. Right. Yeah. Uh, how's your your how how are your grades uh, look like? 